Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how you can protect your game data by using the hash function. Hashing is a process to convert an input of any length into a fixed size string of text. That means we will be converting our game data into a fixed size of string no matter how big our game data are. So to begin, I will reuse the Unity project of one of my tutorials which is how to save and load JSON data into file. If you are interested, feel free to check it out. So, basically, we have some player data, such as the name and the amount of coins that will save into a file in JSON format. So, this is how the file looks like, which have a JSON string. So, in order to protect it, we will now implement the hash function. Go to your script folder, create a new script. We call this secure helper. Then double click it. Uh, remove the mono behavior as this will be a plain static class. And remove both of the function also now we need to create a static method string we will take a string also text um, data is better okay now we need to convert the data into an array of bytes so declare byte array text to bytes equal to encoding mm. let me fix it by using the system dot text encoding dot utf a dot get bytes and put the data inside so now we are use the sha 256 manage class which is a hash function um, of 256 by using a cryptography sha 256 equal to new sha 256 manage then we will get the byte of the hash value hash value using my sha256 dot compute hash mm, let me change to capital letter and we will put the text to bytes side now we have the byte of the hash value so create another method priostatic string get hex string from hash which will take an array of byte of hash declare a hex string string um, string uh, fix it by using a system we will need the md so for each byte b in hash hex string will append the b dot to string x2 return the hex string this will convert the hash byte into a string so now return the result of the function okay now our secure helper class is ready go back to our major class this is where we save the json file and also load the json from file so i will use a save and load method to show you how the hash can protect our data 
So firstly, create another method, public, private void, save hash. This will take a string of your JSON data. Now, create a string hash value equal to I use calling a secure hopper dot hash the JSON. Now we will save the JSON in the player prep dot set string the key and the hash value. Okay, now our save hash method is done. Now we need a method to verify our hash. So create a method private do verify hash hash we shall take a string json and define declare a string hash value which using the secure hopper we will convert the json string into hash again mm, fix it then we need to load our store hash string hash store from our player prefs dot get string make sure the key is same with the method above hash and a default value so declare a default value value equal no hash generator. Mm, let me add a s s underscore between. Then place a default value in. Now return true if the hash value is same with the store hash or the store hash is equal to default value so let's go back to our save method after we have the json string ready then we will call the save hash function to save the json to convert the json into hash and save it inside the player prep so for the load after we have read the JSON string from the file, we should verify whether the hash is same with the hash inside the player prep. So verify hash if equal to false means the hash is different. The data has been modified. So you might need to do something about the player whether you want to ban the player or reset his data or give a warning to him for now i will just lock an error in valid hash data modify okay else make another lock over here hash is valid mm, or no let me change to uh, valid hash or mm, okay 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 or no hash in player prefs okay now it's better Okay, cool. Let's move this inside the else statement. Okay, now our save and load method is complete. Mm -hmm. Let me do some recap. Basically, after we get the JSON string, we will convert it into hash value and save it into player prep. So during load, then we will read from read the json from file and verify it by converting it into a hash and 
verify with the hash value stored inside a prayer prep. So that's how we can know whether the, the data has been modified or not. So go back to Unity. Now click play. As you can see, there is a lot about the hash is valid because for the first time there is no hash in the player prep. So let me try to change the name to LOL and add, try add some coin. Click save. Let me go to verify the data inside the file. Yup. Okay. Try play again. Cool. The data is loaded. Now, let me try to change the coins to 3, 31. Then, test again. It should show an error. Yup. The hash is invalid. So, this is how we identify the player whether he or she has modified their data. And of course, the player is able to go through the checking by generating the same modified hash and use some sort of way to set it into a player prep. But this will be very difficult for them. So, I think that's it for this tutorial. I hope this tutorial helps you. If it did, please give this tutorial a like and also subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.